Okay, so welcome to lesson two of our CSS tutorial. And in this lesson, we're going to be taking a look at how to include CSS into our project. So I've just gone ahead and created a folder on the desktop, call it CSS lessons. And inside this then, let's actually create our files that we need. So I'm using the brackets text editor for this lesson. So let's go ahead and create our first file, which is going to be an index.html file index.html and just on a side note I'm assuming that you know HTML and um, if you don't and you've just stumbled across these videos then do go back and watch my HTML tutorial there's a full tutorial on my channel go ahead and check it out and then you can go through these CSS lessons okay so let's create also our CSS file so we'll call this style.css you can call it whatever you like you call it style.css but it makes sense to call it style.css because that's where our styles are going to go so in here then let's just put some HTML in and let's say CSS lessons okay now the way that we link our css file to our index.html file is by simply doing a link tag in our head element so it's link well equals style sheet and then a link to the actual file so as it's called style.css and we looked at this in our html series as well okay so that's pretty much it they're both linked so now if we go to here and we just say body background color sky blue And open this up we should have the page background color as sky blue as you can see so that's it these are now linked up let me just show you two other ways that you can include css styling so the first way is to actually put a style tag in the head element here and here then you can actually specify your styles so i'm just going to say in fact let's go down here and just say uh, h2 and just say dev dreamer and up here we can say h2 and then we can style it. So we can just say color orange red. Okay, and you can see now it's style that. Um, and the final way that you can include CSS in your project is by using inline styling. So here we can say an attribute of style, and we can just say, well, let's write something in here first, just say hello. And here we can just say color red. And as you can see, color of our text hello is now red so that's three different ways that you can set your styles for your project using the style tags in our head element using inline styling and finally using an external file sheet so which of these three should we use should we ever use more than one of them well the answer is no the one that we should use without a doubt is an external file sheet this keeps all our code very manageable and very clean. Our HTML file should just be used to store our HTML, okay? We should have a separate CSS file over here to actually store all our styles. And as you build up your site and you have more and more styles that you need to add, this actually makes things a lot easier. Okay, so go ahead and create your external file sheet. As we go through these lessons, that's where all our styles are going to go. So guys, I hope you found that useful. In our next lesson, we'll take a look at how to write CSS. So, you know, what does all this mean? We're selecting something here and I've done these curly braces and all this. What does all that mean? Why do we need this at the end here? We'll be answering all those questions and more in our next lesson where we look at CSS syntax. I hope you found this useful. Please like and subscribe and I'll see you on the next one.